right, all right. Let's go. 2023, new year, <sighs> new failed plans. Hey man, what you watch it going? Uh, just okay, morning news. Stuff, you know. Know. So, uh, just uh, everyone's uh, talking about right now that I'm oh, definitely well, not too much of that information on my back. I spent the computer two years on the game talking about the struggles I have in the so it finally happened. After over half a year of creating content just so I could grow and build a community, we finally hit a thousand subscribers. I know to some people that might not look like much, but to me a thousand people is a lot, especially on YouTube where it's very hard to grow a channel. So even though I don't really know any of the people that subscribe to me personally and you guys don't know me, I do want to say thank you. Thank you for subscribing, interacting, and just having fun with these videos that I make. I've always wanted to entertain people, so the fact that you guys want to watch my content and watch the things that I put work into really just means a lot. But that's enough of that sappy stuff, let's go to the real reason why people are here. If you don't know, I made a poll on the YouTube community page asking what I should do for this video and overwhelmingly people wanted a Q&A. And of course I was just like, yeah sure that sounds fine, I get to answer some fun questions, you know, get to learn a bit more about me. Yeah, that's definitely not what happened. These questions are some of the most deranged things I've ever seen, and honestly, I don't know what's wrong with you guys. So without further ado, let's just get into these questions because there's over 30 of them, and honestly, none of them are normal. Do the thing! Did you sell your soul to Dota 2? No, I sold it to the YouTube algorithm so I could get that one video to go viral. Is mayonnaise an instrument? Honestly, I think it depends on which body part you're using to play it. Do you eat your hamburger with or without the peel? Raw. If you had to fight two Waluigi's or two Rosalina's, which two would you fight? I think I'd have to fight the Waluigi's because Rosalina is technically like a god, right? So I think I'd have a better chance with the two dirty biker dudes than two literal gods. Tell me, doctor. Am I? No. Why are you gee? I'm not perfectly sure. Ask me again when June rolls around. Who would win, the sun or a million lions? I'm not perfectly sure. Maybe if I get to a million subscribers, then I'll know. Totally. Please subscribe. What, what is, is love? love? Baby, Baby, don't, don't hurt, hurt me. me. Don't, don't hurt, hurt me. me. No more. No. I mean, usually, yeah, but it has this weird thing where whenever it comes off, it stings really bad for some reason. If someone held you at gunpoint and told you to eat all the carpet on the floor, how much do you think you would get through before you fail? And how do you fail? Depends on the room and the type of carpet. Like, am I doing a small 10 by 10 square bedroom, or am I trying to eat the carpet off of a mansion? And also, like, what flavor is the carpet? Like, is, is, it, is it strawberry? I'll probably eat a lot of strawberry. Does The Simpsons predict the future, or do people just reenact what they see on the show? I don't think it's really either of those things, actually. I think it's more just people are very predictable, so The Simpsons can write a lot of jokes of things that would seem very possible and seem also ridiculous, and then both be true. Also, because, like, The Simpsons has so many episodes, it's kind of impossible to write something that wouldn't eventually come true. Kind of just like a matter of time thing. My question for the Q&A is, who are you and how did you get in my house? You ain't gotta worry about that. Can you shut up? I don't know. How many potatoes could you eat if someone forced you to eat as many potatoes as possible? Okay, so like, are we talking pure raw potatoes? Cause like, that's very different than if it was like, boiled or like, mashed, like cooked potatoes. Like, there's a lot of different things that we could do here. Like, does frying them count? So are like, french fries also considered potatoes in this case? Cause I'll be honest, if it was like, mashed potatoes, like a giant plate of mashed potatoes, I could probably get through like, three, four, five, like I could get through a lot of them. But if it's like, a just a raw potato, like, pulled right out the ground and just washed, that's it, I probably wouldn't finish the first one. When did you start breathing? I started like around 17 or 15, but I've gotten better at breathing since then. So when did you start? Funny of you to assume that I breathe. What inspired you to start your own YouTube channel? I mean, basically the normal stuff. I grew up watching Markiplier, Corey Kenshin, and Matt Pat, a bunch of other different creators, and it just inspired me to want to create content myself. Originally, the channel was actually made just to kind of curate all the work that I made outside, like short films and music videos and stuff. But within the past year, I've decided 
decided to focus more on creating content for YouTube instead of just other things for myself. What genre of movies do you like? I like almost every genre of movie because all of them can be done in a certain way that is really good and really entertaining for me. Though if I had to say my favorite, it would probably be fantasy or any fantasy sci-fi type of thing. I just like stuff that has to do with magic and things that aren't real. Would you ever consider animating for a big budget studio, or would the poor conditions deter you from the pay and exposure? I mean, in full honesty, I'm not really sure. Like, yeah, the industry's bad, but it's a pretty secure way of getting money. Compared to doing things on YouTube or doing commissions, it's a lot more steady and would be a lot easier for organizing my life around, so I probably would take the job, but I'm not sure if I'd be like fully satisfied with it. But then again, as an artist, who is? Every artist kind of has their job but also makes stuff on the side just for fun, you know? Do you keep kids in your basement? Are you kidding? Do you know how much it costs to keep a kid alive in this economy? When will you let me out of your basement along with the others? Okay guys, let's just let's drop the basement bit. There's, <laughs> there's nothing down there. How many tacos with... with Give me a second. How many tacos with the 14 of the photosynthesis have? What? How many? Yeah, I read that right. What What on earth? I'm, I'm so confused. Why are you in my community section? Who are you? Now, now you don't gotta worry about that, alright? How does the baby get in the lady's belly? And you know what? That's where I'm gonna end this video. I... <laughs> Y'all are ridiculous. Honestly, guys, thank you so much for a thousand subscribers. It's really, really amazing. I'm gonna put out as much content as I can, and hopefully everyone enjoys it. I have a few new ideas that I might want to try out, so if you see some weird videos coming down, uh, that's why. I just wanted to try out some new things. So yeah, I've been Elias of Elias Entertainment. I'm glad you like my stuff, and I hope you like what I got in the future. See you at 10,000.